I started with this little square and I had the idea of growing other squares out of the corners, same size, on the corners of the previous iteration. Problem is, if you do that, all you draw is a grid. How about I stack different iterations on different layers? Each iteration goes underneath its previous one. Now we're cooking. This looks like a fractal to me, but you could also look at it like an aperiodic tiling of L-shaped triominoes. The first thing that struck me was how similar its growth pattern was to the toothpick fractal, which I have drawn extensively. It does the same thing where it squares off every iteration that's a power of two. This is the 30 second iteration. I realized that some of the lines from different iterations lined up and it'd be easier just to draw one big long line like this one up the middle. So I looked at where they were and noticed the lengths of these lines are the powers of two minus one. Where have I seen them before? Oh yeah, they're the lengths of the optimal solves of the Tower of Hanoi. You can only move one piece at a time. Bigger ones can't go on smaller ones. The aim of the game is to move the whole stack to a different position. At the start, the smallest piece is in position A, the medium also A, and the biggest A. So we'll call this AAA. The options from here are moved to BAA or CAA. So for a three layer tower of Hanoi, this is the entire graph showing all of the possible moves. The solutions are in the corners. And as you can see, it is a Sierpinski triangle. If you give each piece a little musical note, it makes a nice pattern when you do the optimal solve. But if we look back at our fractal, we actually have that pattern along the edge. It's the ACABACA -A -A pattern. And if I extend these edges out, now it's the ice fractal. So I wondered if something like this would work along the diagonals. I gave it a go. And it grows like an Oolon Warburton cellular automaton, which is exactly what it sounds like, a computerized version of how cells grow. If you stop one iteration before the end, boom, T-square fractal. Now, zoom right into the first few iterations of this. You can see it's the top-down view of an octahedron. And there's a fractal which we can make by successively carving out tetrahedrons from the triangular face of the octahedron. The second iteration would look like this. If I rotate this, another view is the Sierpinski triangle. It's nice when the world works out like this. Fractalicious.